What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode. And today we are going to be doing another episode. <laughs> Alright, so today this was requested by Deadpool. And um Yeah, so we are gonna do this today, so I want to start y'all off by saying all links are needed in the description below. Yep, there you go. And uh, the programs that are going to be needed is Steam Command Prompt and mm, Gary's Mod. Well, <laughs> you know. A uh, thing you need to be starting with is mm, Gary's Mod with another ball face. And... A Gary's Mod server you made with Steam CMD. If it's been bought, it should already have all of it. it no, you don't need that. It, yeah, you just need a server you Because if it's bought, it'll update for you. Uh, changes made to computers, files, such programs, etc. Nothing. Except uh, data transfer. We're updating the file of this. So, let's do this. I want to start off saying that um, when you update your server, it does not replace all your add-ons, files, and everything. Because it's basically doing the whole server again, except one more command. Um, it does not uh, do that. I thought it did, but uh, it doesn't. So, don't worry about that at all. <coughs> First thing you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description and uh, get Steam CMD. As you can see, my internet is... Crap, this is laggy. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, so now it should take you to this page. Now, don't worry anything about this unless you have a problem. Uh, so then you'll just go to the known um, problems. So um, so just downloading Steam CMD, we're gonna go down and we'll go look at download Steam CMD for window. You're gonna click that and it will download. Oh, you also need WinRAW. That's how we're gonna open um, the. Um, you're gonna need WinRAW right here. That's how we're gonna open the zip files. So I already opened mine. I extracted uh, my Steam D. Make sure it's to a folder. Do not drag it to your desktop plane because as soon as you open, it's gonna pop up with all this stuff. So just for this purposes, uh, tutorial purposes, I'm gonna download it for y'all. So it's going to download it and we're going to click open. And again you need WinRAW to open this. So I'll go ahead and give you a link in the description to download WinRAW and you'll have steamsteamd.exe. So go to your desktop and create a new folder. I'm just going to name it steamcmd0101 because I have two of the steamcmd files. I'm just going to drag this into the folder. Make sure it's not out of the folder. Um, so, like, maybe you have Steam CMD just in the desktop. You don't want that because we'll add a bunch of files. Because as you see, this is right now. If I open it, steamcmd.exe. If we go to Steam, this old one, you'll see steamcmd.exe and all this other stuff. As you can see, as soon as we open this, we're going to watch the files. So, you all know that the other one is, is that true? So you see the bat file, don't worry. And that, as you can see, I've got all this loading it, just downloading stuff. So, it won't take that long. Shouldn't do this much for you. when it's done doing this weird stuff. Alright, so now it should be up and running. Your Steam CMD. Oh shoot, I have a virus, guys. I have a virus. What, what's happening? I have a virus. Just joking, guys. We don't have a virus. Thank the Lord. Alright, so um, what we're going to type in is, um, so uh, the first thing we're going to type in is on Steam CMD. First thing we're going to... Oh, 
gosh. Uh, first thing we're gonna type in is um, log in a non log in anonymous. And we'll just anonymous. We'll just connect without you having to log into your account. So good thing you'll have a charge in. Then you'll be screwed right there. You have an email password for Steam. And I just wait a couple seconds. And uh, now we are logged in. We are gonna go and find where our server is. So my server that I'm gonna be using this or testing with is G server. So I'm gonna be using this with the server I've made. So here's my server. And I'm just gonna open it and we're just gonna click up here and copy its directory. So mine C drive slash G server. We're gonna go back to Steam Steam D and we're gonna type in force underscore install underscore dir space and where our server is located which mines in the c drive c drive slash g server and we're going to press enter and nothing should pop up it should just take that and uh, now we did that so everything we're going to do is now going to spoil this kind of reminds you of when we made the server except we're going to do one thing and since this is a gmod server we're going to do App underscore up date four zero two zero. Nope, don't stop there. Space validate. So now it's gonna validate all the files and update all of them. So app underscore update space four four zero two zero, which is the gears mod ID, and space validate. We're gonna click enter, and it's gonna do a bunch of this for a really long time and if your server is up to date like mine because I've already done this but um we'll just it's gonna take a while and it's just gonna keep doing this and I'll be back when it's done alright guys so mine looks like this <coughs> let me say update state um if you probably been updated zero times zero unknown progress zero point zero but if you get uh, something like me um, since I'm not sure if I just got an error, I'm just gonna start with app update. Okay, so it'll say success, and then I'll do app underscore update four zero two zero validate, and it would say that. So, so once it showed this, I just want you. Um, so once it shows that it's fully installed, success app four two zero is fully installed. Good. Now all you have to do is type in quit to the terminal. And it'll end it. Uh, and something might pop up to ask you if you want to uh, save these files, but this is a folder, so it won't ask you that. Holy crap, I can get copyright. What the freak? Two seconds. I can't get copyright, can I? And, um, ba boom. I got it. Um, before I do anything else, I'd like to show you a cool little virus I made. Oh, oh shoot, sorry about this guys. Um, so once you've done validating, boom, your server would be updated and uh, don't do what I'm about to show you. If you go to Gary's mod, go to add-ons. Okay, well, this happened to me on the other server. Something like this. Something like this may happen where it has a bunch of .gma files. This is from the update. Do not delete these because I did that and I had a big uh, server and I had to take forever to fix it because it's a rare error. So don't do that unless you feel like making another server, which I honestly don't. And um, so once you've done that, boom, you gotta um, you update your server and please don't leave yet because let me find. So I don't open a destructive file because I do, I do make really, no, okay, no, that's death PC, that's stupid, and explore, I think it might be this one, yep, this is it, alright, y'all ready see a nice little virus, I call it an explore, it starts out by saying, you know, you can say whatever you want, it don't matter, and I'm just going to prove that right here. 
are done. What happens to the X button, right? <laughs> well, it's really a fake virus. And you know, if you're a noob to this and you don't know how to shut stuff, you can task manager. Well, I'm sorry, ma'am. You have a virus and it's really destructive. It doesn't do startup at boot. I don't, don't want to do that because that's annoying. And um, so I hope you enjoyed this little video. Like, comment, subscribe, and see all.